What's up, YouTube? It's December. So, Santa Mo is coming to town. You may hear uh, my sleigh running in the background. My neighbors uh, clearly getting some work done to their front yard or something. Great timing, but you know what? I figured I'm not going to let that stop me being jolly and opening some awesome packs today. Can you see how enthusiastic I am, how happy I am about them doing that right now? So today we are going to open up some pretty oh, cool old packs. Uh, a really nice mixture of things here. But before we get to that, I'm in the giving mood this month, of course. There's going to be actually a bunch of giveaways. 12, the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways that I did on Instagram last year or the year before. Uh, that will actually be done on YouTube. A couple of YouTube videos. So stay tuned for that. But all you have to do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. What's your favorite set that we'll be opening today? We'll be opening a bunch of crazy ones, including this $150 original legend of blue eyes pack sorry i just have to troll uh i've seen so many people just post the most ridiculous uh clickbaity or just very uninformed uh titles recently and it's been very funny as you can see we have a nice little assortment of cards here including some really awesome 5d sets like star strike blast the shining darkness duelist genesis sorry some of them are stuck together here because they were uh in uh like special editions or uh, X Saber value packs. We also have Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus here himself, Odin for Storm of Ragnarok, Extreme Victory, a bunch of really cool stuff. So without further ado, let's just get going. Oh, sorry, forgot about Duelist Alliance. Also have uh, some Zexel stuff here. So a bunch of stuff here, I'm not going to go over it all, but I did want to give a quick mention and shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh! Eyes Photon Dragon. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Eyes Photon Dragon on Instagram. He actually sent me these awesome mcdonald's packs check these out these are actually from the from mcdonald's uh, from way back in 2002 i believe and yeah he sent me these for my birthday finally getting to open them it's actually been quite a while since i've opened anything so i'm very excited to jump into it without further ado let's get going what do we have the most of here duelist alliance that's a very christmasy pack red and green so jumping back into it hopefully going to be a, a little bit more regular scheduled hey white prince that's a pretty good uh, common yeah hopefully going to be getting back to a little bit more normal schedule uh today or sorry after today's video maybe once every two days or something like that nonetheless should be yeah a little bit more more, 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 more normal of a schedule can't speak it's been a while since i've opened anything guys so so we're going to jump into Dragons of Legend 2. I would love to pull a Mimic Hat here. Dragons of Legend 2, these blister packs. I do have a bunch of them for sale. So if you're interested, hit me up. And what do we have here? A Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword to start us off. But might as well just finish off Duelist Alliance. We have a ton of those. And they are the newest pack out of the set. Pretty cool little mix of packs here. Nice mix of 5Ds, GX bunch of fun stuff and of course this original blue eyes $500 pack <laughs> just absolutely ridiculous some of the uh, some of the thumbnails I've been seeing lately all right do a uh, can we pull that ghost rare from Yu-Gi-Oh arc 5 arc V nada so, let's get these done with. These uh, Christmas theme packs have not been the greatest. Look at that. Already had a whole hole in this one. But, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe, and comment. It does help me out, especially being a smaller channel. Helps me get suggested to other channels. Kaleidoscorp. It's a pretty cool card. Yeah, it helps me uh, just get suggested on YouTube. Um, yeah would a preach preach please oh there you go another white prince can we get a freaking ghost rare or at least one hollow no no hollows from do Ea, unfortunately but none are guaranteed so all right i'm gonna go for a cosmo blazer here this is actually another ghost rare we haven't pulled yet be nice to pull it come on okay come on there it is cosmo blazer heart earth dragon and we get it. Hazy Flame Sphinx. Xyz Remora. 
Viscale of Cestus. And Nada. Firefish Spirit there. Alright, let's go back to Dragons of Legend 2. Also have these awesome Force of the Breaker Special Editions. Have a few of these for sale, as well as the uh, the loose packs. Mostly Force of the Breaker. I think I'm going to be opening some of the IOC packs. Haven't opened too many of those old packs. Black Catastrophe. Come on, where is that Mimic Cat? Prediction Ritual. Uh, ooh, the Fang of Critias. That's actually a nice one. It's not, obviously it's not one of the best. We're looking for that Mimic Cat. Still looking for that Mimic Cat, but the Fang of Critias, a very nice secret rare. For sale, most of the cards that you see pulled on the channel um, will be for sale. So if you ever, if you are ever interested in anything that you see, just make sure you hit me up. Best way to contact me is definitely on Instagram. Um, if you don't have an Instagram, I definitely suggest making just like a, you know, temporary Yu-Gi-Oh Instagram just to just to let people know that even you're looking for a Yu-Gi-Oh. Even if you don't necessarily post a lot, obviously it's nice to post your collection on there and everything too. But just to, yeah, contact people. So many nice people you meet on Instagram too. So it is definitely something that I suggest you do. If you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh Instagram and uh, YouTube community are basically one in the same. All right, here we go. Last Dragons of Legend pack here. And uh, I believe I'm going to be getting this video out pretty quickly, so might still be able to get in on it. But I also posted it on my Instagram, so you'll catch it there again. It's another, another reason why you'd want to check it out on Instagram first. Usually you'll see it on Instagram first. Um, I am selling some first edition Stardust Overdrive packs. Yeah, those really rare packs that you've seen me open recently on the channel. I'm selling them for a box break, so they are to be opened on the channel. Lord of Red for our secret rare. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in anything like that, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram and yeah, just send me a DM. All right, Order of Chaos. This is just an unlimited, random unlimited pack, but nonetheless, one of the older Zexel sets. One of the sets that still had the smaller picture there. Photon Leo to start us off, and uh, whoa, it's freaking off-centered as heck. Look at that, it's crazy. Yeah, all the cards. I've actually pulled a Ghost out of here, one of the first edition ones, but not back in the day, back old school yu gi -Oh days. Can we do something here? No, unfortunately not. Oh yeah, completely forgot, Duelist Pack Crow. I'm gonna jump into some 5Ds now, rev it up. Duelist Pack Crow, it's not the craziest set. Uh, doesn't have ultimate rares or anything like that, but still some really awesome um, black wind cards. Oh, backwards. There we go. Clutch, Yu Gi Oh! Clutch. And a black winged armed wing. So just a rare there. The ultra rare is, I think, Zephyros the Elite or something like that. All righty, all righty. Yeah, that's definitely, that's not getting to me at all in the background there. And a black wing aboard the spear. Okay, let's finish these off. But we got a couple more of them left here. Duelist Pact Crow. Actually, might jump into some hidden arsenal afterwards. Big feather. Guard mines and another black wing aboard the spear. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Ugh, these packs are kind of sticky, unfortunately. Like they came in the. Uh, those X, or sorry, not X Saber values. Those are not, those are some values, but um, it came in the Utopia value packs. So what do we get here? Oh, there we go. I forgot. It's on the first card there, Fabled Grimo. I don't think that's one of the better ones, but I could be mistaken. Actually, Fabled, it might it might be worth something. I'll keep that off to the side for sure. All right, now let's finish up Duelist Pack Crow here. See if we can pull one hollow. As you can see, not guaranteed. Have we pulled the one hollow out of a non-guaranteed hollow pack? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Black return. Pretty cool hollow. Oh, it's so it's the second card. You get a, a rare and a super in these. I never know with 5Ds. I know they always started they started mixing it up, but pretty cool super rare card. Is that the Naturia Barkion on there too? Awesome. Black return. I don't have that card. So that's nice. A uh, hidden arsenal too. Let's finish up Hidden Arsenal. Try not to spoil it this time. Um, the cover card here, though, that's what I would want to pull. A little kitty. Do Lauren. 
to Lauren the dragon, not the dragon, it's not a dragon, the king or something, I want to say, the ice barrier, alright, card trick, don't spoil it this time, what do we got here, flame veil baby, ally of justice, could catastrophe, searcher, prototops, and, and a Jirak Giganato, Giganato, I don't know if I said that right, but, a little Jurak card there, so not the craziest pulls from Hidden Arsenal. Still didn't get that chase card that I was looking for. Now, what do we do next? Do we go to some of the original? No, not going to go to those yet. We're going to open Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus here. Odin, Storm of Ragnarok. And as you can see, these are actually European packs. It has that little red dot that says EN on them. And has a different crimp. That's how you can tell. Also, the cards are a are much different stock. Much different card stock. They're almost like waxy. Needle ball. And... <gasps> Legendary Six Samurai Shien. Ultra rare. That got me going when I saw the white. I was... I thought that might have been an... Uh, not an ultimate, obviously. You'd see the ultimate edges. But I thought that might have been a ghost rare even. Oh my god. That would have been unreal. So, Legendary Six Samurai Shien. That's probably one of the better... If not the best ultra rare that you can pull from the set. Obviously, I'd rather have that in Ultimate, but nonetheless, absolutely awesome. Legendary Six Samurai Shien, let's go! Okay, our first decent pull. Again, probably our first pull that we've... First pull from the um, from the packs that don't guarantee a holo, right? How many packs do I have here? It, feels, it doesn't feel like that many. When I got them out, it felt like a lot. I guess there's just a lot of packaging. Alright, next pack here, Storm of Ragnarok. One of the first packs that I opened when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And one of the first 5Ds packs. Vylon Delta! Whoa! Secret Rare and Ultra Rare out of Storm of Ragnarok. Coming in clutch. Even though they are just unlimb, they are still beautiful. Look at that. That awesome European print. You can definitely tell. Even with the secret, it's like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the secret is like a little bit... The, the effect... Like, the lines are, like, a bit thicker, I guess. And it's a little bit darker. Vylon Delta, Secret Rare, Let's Go, Storm of Ragnarok, Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus, coming in clutch so far. That is awesome. All right, now, on to... What do we get on to here now? Yeah, Extreme Victory. Let's do it. Those were unlimb, but these ones are European and also first edition, guys. So, really, really hoping to pull something out of these... To get a first ed ghost rare would be absolutely unreal. Let's go. Only one way to find out. Let's rev it up. TG Catapult Dragon. Scarlet Security. Resonator Call. And TGSX1. Unfortunately, nothing from the first pack. But there is one more pack to go. Extreme Victory. Let's go. The TG is obviously also introduced in here. But that Ghost Rare, the last 5D's Ghost Rare, would be the one we want to pull. Junk Berserker. W Nebula Meteorite. Tyrant Stantrum. Morphtronic Staplin. Necro Defender. And unfortunately, no hollow from Extreme Victory from the first Ed Packs, where it counts. Come on! Alright, now, now we have a little decision to make. Well, no, I guess, you know what? Might as well just go kind of, kind of in reverse order probably mix up Duelist Genesis and Star Strike Blast, but the Shining Darkness, here we go. This is just a NA pack, North American, so a little bit different card stock, you can already tell, just with the pack there, but a first edition nonetheless, and these are from Utopia packs, oh, this is one of my favorite cards in the set, Archfiend Interceptor, I'm a football guy, so you'll know why, obviously you have the best ice, the best team, you can see them in the background there. <laughs> Blossom Bombardment, come on, can we pull a Black Wings? Oh, Ultimate Rare! It is a Black Wing, but not Black Wing Dragon. But this is an awesome card, Black Wing Breeze the Zephyr. That is awesome. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. I love the European Ultimate Rares. What else we get here? Infernity, Inferno. We will take it, our first ulti pull of the day. Let's go. Ultimate rare, Blackwing, Breeze the Zephyr. 
Looks in pretty good condition. Has a little bit of ulti stamping on the back, but nothing major. Really, really like how that foil looks in the light. That is an awesome card. Pull of the day for sure. So far, awesome. We'll take it. Okay, now, now we have a little bit of a decision. Do we do we open all of the five D's packs right away? These ones are pretty cool, pretty special. Or do we mix it up with a little? You know what? Okay, let's do this. Let's open one Star Strike Blast pack. Star Strike Blast again, one of my favorite sets. One of the first sets that I opened along with Storm of Ragnarok. Pulled an ultimate rare from here. Never get tired of telling that story. You guys might get tired of hearing it, but nonetheless. Star Strike Blast, one of the more expensive, one of the more, more epic sets from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Star Siphon. Was never printed in Unlim, by the way. What else do we, what do we have? Do we have something here? Rescue Warrior. And a super rare D2 shield. Okay, so it is a hollow, unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Actually, a very nice rare. Inishi, I believe that is. Uh, number 177, Karakuri. There we go. We will take that. Pretty off-centered, actually, this pack as well. But we'll take that, our Hollow from Star Strike Blast. Not too bad from the first edition 5Ds packs, for, or the ones that mattered, not uh, Extreme Victory. We got all Hollows out of them. So I'll take that. All right, we're starting to rev it up indeed. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little excited about those. So maybe we'll save those for later and open up some of this GX stuff here. Let's open up this Force of the Breaker Special Edition. Apologies to any of you who are sad by seeing me rip this open. If you wanted to keep one for your sealed collection, I might be able to help you out because I have some for sale. So just hit me up before I crack them all open like this. So these come with, um, I believe they're also Euro packs. No, no, no. I don't think they're Euro packs. I believe they're North American packs, but they are EN. So that's really cool. Invasion of Chaos, one of the most epic OG sets. So we're definitely going to save that for later. But we are going to crack open one of these Force of the Breaker packs right now. So hold on just a minute. Let me toss the garbage everywhere. So here we go. Force of the Breaker, the first one. Can we pull something crazy like a Harpy Queen? Uh, that would be that would be unreal. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Cards are upside down. Weird. Harpy Queen rare comes in here. Also, some of the Crystal Beasts rares uh, come in here as ultimate rare, so really really would be nice to pull an ultimate here an upside down card We got a triggered summon Upside down cards are triggering me Alrighty, do we just go for the next force of the breaker here? Yeah, kind of a theme We're just opening them one after another or one set after another. So let's do that. Okay. This pack is right side up this time Come on. Where's that ulti? Some really nice secret rares in in here, too Be nice to pull can we pull something? Ah, firewall. Unfortunately not. Back of the pack was uh, was upside down this time. All right, now now we're gonna have to get into something special here. Coming up, and a little announcement with this. Coming up later, um, later this month, I think, or maybe in this, like maybe later next week, maybe early next week, we will be pack battling the one and only Ruxin Thirty Four in our seventh pack battle. Game 7, and you know the story, guys. Down 3-0, and we made a legendary comeback opening, or pulling, four Ghost Rares, spoiler alert, pulled four Ghost Rares in three battles versus Ruxin 34. There's that awesome, honest, very, very cool card. But, for our battle, we will be opening an entire display case of the box you just saw opened. Twilight Edition display case, and... We will be pulling, hopefully, pulling our fifth ghost rare. Wouldn't that be absolutely unreal? Okay, so we're going to line these all up here. I'm going to go ahead and open... Yeah, I'm going to go Phantom Darkness first. Whoa, and these are EN packs too. Forgot about that. So EN Phantom Darkness. Can we pull another awesome ultimate rare? We pulled already pulled one before. We've opened one display case before uh, on the channel for a little birthday video. Can we do it again? Rainbow Light. Oh! This is the secret I wanted to pull. This is the other secret I wanted to pull. This is... 
Calvin, this is from the open display case. This is the first box. The first box that... I am absolutely losing it. There is no way that just happened. Okay, and I can't even say that like, oh, I should have opened these for the battle because we're opening a full a full display case, me, me and Ruxin, so this one was already open. There's not there's no way it would have happened. Oh my goodness, guys! Dark Arm Dragon! Spoiler alert, we've already pulled the other secret rare I wanted to pull out of these sets. Judgment Dragon. And now, a Dark Armed Dragon? Are you kidding me? That is unreal it is it's a little bit off centered unfortunately from from right to left it looks like but nonetheless the best secret rare that we could pull out of that set i'm i'm absolutely in shock there's no way that just happened i forgot I, again i forgot that these gx packs were printed during 5ds so there's a chance not a chance so the um the hollow there's a, a rare in the hollow basically i can't believe that and 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 then the hollow comes after the rare it's even crazier oh my god that's unreal okay you know what i have three of these mcdonald's packs and i've really i know you guys have been really itching to see these open too so we're gonna get into these again these are from Yu Gi Oh eyes photon dragon and he is on instagram make sure you guys check him out he sells a bunch of really awesome stuff like these mcdonald's packs and these are the first time we're opening them here on the channel. So it's really, really cool. Really, really old packs. Hoping to pull a hollow here. Possibly an ultra rare. Can we do it? Ah, stuffed animal. The, uh, the first fluffle card, you could say there. So yeah, not even guaranteed a rare from these packs. Um, does, do rares even come this set? I don't even know. Okay, but I'm going to stop blab blabbering. I'm, I'm jacked up. I'm too jacked up here. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to freaking... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that pack. Let's go with... Light of Destruction next. Why not? Actually, no. I'm going to save Light of Destruction. I feel like going Duelist Genesis. Yeah, you know what? Duelist Genesis pack, since it's unlimited and it's a little bit earlier. We're going to go back to 5Ds here. See if we can rev it up. Can we pull a freaking Ghost Rare or Ultimate Rare? Stardust Dragon. That would be absolutely unreal. Can we do it? Come on. Let's pull something. Turbo Booster. Okay, I think this one would be before. Yeah. So that one, the rare would be before, or the hollow. Look how bendy that pack is. That's unfortunate. All right. Now, another McDonald's pack? No. Now we're going to go Light of Destruction, okay? Now we'll do a Light of Destruction. And I've already pulled a secret rare out of here. The best secret rare, Judgment Dragon. So my goal my goal right now is it's pretty high. It's that Ghost Rare. Ghost Rare Honest would be the play. Can we do it here? Unifrog to start us off. That's a joke looking card. Spell gear. Gareth, a light sworn warrior. Honor seal. And an ultra rare Destiny and Dragon. This is actually a crazy special edition. I am so happy I got there in time to get this one. That is awesome. Destiny and Dragoon, sorry. And that is a, a little a little Destiny hero card there. So pretty cool card. Again, it comes in ultra rare, so would have rather that, but Beggars can't be choosers. All right, let's go into our next pack here. Our next McDonald's pack from Yu-Gi-Oh! Eyes here. You gotta be really careful with these because they're all so thin. You don't want to damage the cards. All right, here we go. Frog the Jam and Ushi, Ushi Uni. So, unfortunately, our last McDonald's pack was not that great. We're now gonna jump into this legend of blue eyes pack i know you think save the rarest 500 dollars pack for last <laughs> don't take me serious guys it's not 500 dollars but uh yeah we're actually gonna open it now because it is the reprint so that's why uh, that's why i'm laughing because i uh, a lot of people online seem to be uh either hyping this up thinking it's the original or just hyping it up trying to clickbait and be be dum dums. So Yugi Mo's not like that. Although maybe this video I might try the thumbnail might might sit might uh, look some something clickbaity. But here we go. Vile germs. Can we pull a hollow out of here? Can we pull a blue eyes? Succubus Knight, I'm pretty sure it would be yeah, 
pretty sure it would be that fourth card. So unfortunately, the $1,000 Legend of Blue Eyes pack did not come in clutch. We are now going to save one of each from here, from each um, of the first three series, and open this McDonald's pack, this last McDonald's pack. Come on, can we pull a hollow? Three-legged zombie, that's a pretty funny one. And... Millennium Shield! Oh my goodness! Not only did we pull a holo, we pulled an ultra! Let's go! Ruxin is going to be so jealous out of three packs. This is his, uh, his favorite card, I believe. Or no, sorry, was it Cosmo Queen? Is it Cosmo Queen your favorite card or, or Millennium Shield, man? Let me know. The centering on this thing looks pretty good. Wow. How's the back, though? These things usually have... Like some sort of print line. There's a little bit of print lines on the back. A little bit of like we weird edges. I don't know. I guess you could say. Wow. That actually looks really good. Shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh! Eyes Photon Dragon. Huge thanks for these packs. What an unreal birthday gift. I am happy with that. That is awesome. Millennium Shield, of course. One of the iconic OG cards. Gotta love it. Alright, now... Now let's just let's just do this in reverse order here. Let's just go Star Strike Blast. I know it's a first edition pack, but reverse chronological order here. Let's go five Ds to GX two OG. My three favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series arcs. Can we pull a freaking Ghost Rare here? Come on, that would just make this opening unreal. Another D two Shield? Are you kidding me? The same card? That's unreal. Why? Why did that just have to happen? Okay, so unfortunately, Star Strike Blast did not come in clutch. Look at this. It looks like a uh, a long crimp pack here. Yeah, these, especially because uh, Euro prints are supposed to be smaller. But Tactical Evolution, this set, it does have uh, apparently a $55,000 misprint um, Rainbow Dragon. If you guys have watched those other videos that I've talked about, those price hyping videos. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And uh, I don't think they actually come from these special editions. But who knows? I could be mistaken. Maybe I'll prove myself wrong and pull one right here for first on YouTube. That'd be unreal. Absolutely unreal. But nonetheless, still an unreal set. This comes with some unreal secret rares. And of course, still a ghost rare. But unfortunately, we didn't get one here. Just got a thousand eyes jelly. Can we pull an, a ghost rare from that set? Who knows? We, we're we're going to find out coming up in the battle versus Ruxin soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And make sure you smash that like button for some last pack magic here. Imagine we pull a secret rare EN card. That would be absolutely unreal. Come on. Let's go. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Seed in the comments, boys. Big Koala. Blazing Apache, Zero Gravity, Chopman Desperate Outlaw, Robin Zombie. Ah! Unfortunately, we did not pull a holo. No last pack magic to finish it off, but some really, really cool cards. Not sure how I missed these, but there it is. Black Return, Hidden Arsenal Secret Rares, and Fang of Critias. And shoehorn that in there. Just go over the, obviously, the two super rares that we got there. Destiny and Dragoon. Some pretty cool Ultra and Secret Rares, Legendary Six Samurai Shien, Dylon, uh, Vylon Delta, a very, very cool card. Of course, Millennium Shield, beautiful, old, iconic, OG card. Ultimate Rare, Blackwing, Breeze the Zephyr, and I would say probably, I don't know, it's tough. Millennium Shield's a really good card, but probably the highlight of the day would probably have to be Dark Arm Dragon Secret Rare. Wow, actually pulled a card that I was chasing. That's unreal. So happy when that happens. So with that being said, that wraps up our first little Christmas. I hope you all enjoyed. I know I sure did. And until next time, peace. Oh!